I'm pumped and excited today to share with you about a piece of beekeeping equipment that we give little attention to, but it's really the foundation of a hive, and I literally mean the foundation. It's the hive stand. I mean, the whole hive has to be balanced perfectly on a hive stand, or else if you don't, by the time you keep adding more boxes to it, it begins to tilt one way or the other. And I have gone through an evolutionary progress of just changing the way I view these hive stands. When I first started, I really wanted to, to look like this. Now this is from a B Team 6 member, Cody. Look at the great job he's done building his own hive stand. Is that not beautiful or what? When I first started beekeeping, I liked to put hives on anything that was available just to keep them off the ground. I didn't have much money to invest in hive stands, so I was using mainly wooden pallets. You don't know how many times my foot fell through the pallet, it broke, it sunk into the ground, and some of the pallets, I'm not sure if they're all that safe. A lot of them sometimes have been carrying uh, toxic chemicals on it, for example. So you never know what kind of pallet has uh, been exposed to maybe some chemicals, oils, or something like that. But I got away from pallets and I went to uh, anything else that I could find, sometimes concrete cinder blocks with wooden boards between them. That always works out pretty well. I fabricated some metal stands, all the nine yards like that. You know what? I finally have settled on one hive stand. Gotta tell you, I can't live without it. It's my go-to hive stand. And I just decided to bite the bullet and buy these. And so I'm slowly replacing uh, hive stands with these. Now I've used some of these over the years and I really like them a lot. I think they are sharp. They're made of very hard plastic. They do a great job at holding the hive in position. They also have a very big footprint. Um, some of the hive stands that I have, like this one here, you know, it has little bitty tiny feet on it that begin to sink in the ground or as the ground shifts, it changes. And I like this one because it's got a wide uh, stance. Even this flow hive. Now I spent a lot of money buying this flow hive. I'll talk about it in a future video, but look at this footprint. It's narrow and I'm really worried about this particular hive stand, as they call it, basically just four feet, that it's gonna make um, the hive tilt in the ground. Now they say I should put some pavers down, something solid. Uh, to me, it's easier just to buy one hive stand without having to put pavers down. This hive stand is awesome. We sell these on our website. Take a look at them. I'll leave links in the description below, but right here you can follow our website. One of the things I like most about them is they're almost completely assembled. They're very easy to assemble right out of the box. Here's one half of it. Here's the other half that goes like this. And here are two bars. That's all it is to this thing. So when I want to assemble it, what I want to do is, is take a look at the items that come in the little baggie here. You're going to get four of these things that actually fit in the holes to hold your poles in, uh, between the hive stand pieces. So there's four of these, pretty simple. By the way, I'm going to show you one more thing here that's cool. Here's those four. You get two frame hangers. Now I really think this is a great addition to this hive to have two frame hangers. So I take two of these and I'll put them in the holes like that and that. There's only two places where the poles go into in the hive stand and it has a bolt that goes through there. So just put those in position like that. Now what I do next is put the two little clips on top of the pole there like this. Now I'm gonna take this, make sure that where the bottom board sits, the indentation for the bottom board matches that indentation too, and put that together. Now there's gonna be hardware enclosed. The hardware that you wanna to use to bolt down the legs to the hive stand, there's four of them, so they're a little different. There's also some screws so that you can bolt down your bottom board into the hive stand. They're more of like a wood screw, but these are more machine type screws. So once you get these in position, just screw them down. Get down with this side, carefully just flip it over because you've got two more screws to put in on the other piece. Grab the two screws, fasten it down as well. Now that's all it is to it. And once you put it out in your bee yard, it's ready to go and you can slip your hive right on there, put your bottom board there. There are screws where you can screw 
from the hive stand into your bottom board to make it a little bit more secure. Now this is the part that I really like. It's the frame hangers. They go right here against that little place where they lock in on both sides. You're doing your hive inspections and voila, you can just put your frame and let it let rest right there. They seem pretty sturdy. Look at that, I can push pretty hard. So I like the frame hangers as well. So my goal is to change out all of these um, I'm doing it kind of a little bit at a time, spreading it out a little bit. I may go ahead and just do it over a couple of year period of time. Got a lot of hives to put those under, but I think they really work great. And I encourage you to think about your hive stand because you really do want the hive to remain solid on the ground level. I want to be honest with you, I've made some mistakes in putting hives on flimsy, not so secure hive stands and they, it resulted in the thing just falling over. And that's really tragic. So you, you wanna give it a little bit of thought, make it as solid as possible. Also, make it as level as possible. Now, if you're new to my channel, it's quite possible that you haven't heard that I have online beekeeping courses that you will really love. And I want you to check them out. Here's the link in the description down below, as well as in the video here. And I wanna help you be a better beekeeper, make fewer mistakes and keep healthier bees. That's why I built these online courses. Now, if you'd like to follow me, getting your hands right into a hive and doing an inspection with me, we need to take a look for a queen, see how she's doing. Over here in this video, I'll show you how to do it. See you over here.